All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy 12 International, the English patch made by FF Griver. All right, it is it is uh, July 13th. What does that mean? It means that I am 28 years old today. Yay! Happy birthday, Darth Kefka. What am I doing? I'm making a movie for you guys. I'm not going to a party. That means I really love you guys. I'd rather make a movie than go to a party on my birthday. All right, I really love my subscribers. Okay. All right, uh, let's see here. This is where we left off. Who is this woman with the pink miniskirt? Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Jump down. Hurry. Whoa, nice catch, Vaughn. She's not alone. Our ranks grow by the hour. And our troubles with them. Now, after watching that, you would figure that these two would uh, get together somehow, just like Titus and Yuna did, but no, okay. There is no mushy romance in this uh, game here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now. Next! Uh, can I yunk you thing with you guys? Gimme! Ah, I stole a post here! <laughs> Uh, the music played during that fight, by the way, is a uh, is a theme, the no second way. part of a theme. Thank you. Um, I'm Vaughn, and this is Balthier, and hey, what's your name? Amalia. Amalia, huh? Nice to meet you. There were others with me. I'm sorry. No. Oh, now isn't that impressive? Don't get any ideas. I said it's mine. I'm afraid the jury's still out on that one. You stole that? Yeah. Have you finished? When the guards don't report in, they'll come looking for us. If they aren't already. You should come with us. Better than being by yourself. Very well. What's wrong with her? You have a lot to learn before we even get started on your thievery. <laughs> What's that mean? Okay, no spoilers. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's a point in saying you no know, spoilers because everybody knows exactly who this is. Okay, I'm pretty sure you've all played this game by now. Okay, but Ash has no idea what that item is, unfortunately for her. Okay. All right, so this is Ash, another sex symbol, unfortunately. The situation requires I accept such help as I find, though it be from thieves. I shall accompany you until we find my companions, no longer. Let's think of her as a guest, then. Unlike Fran or myself, our guest probably won't be taking orders from anyone anytime soon, and she'll leave when she pleases. So we keep to our affairs and she to hers. I doubt we'll find her wanting in Valor, being such an upstanding member of the insurgents. Resistance. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh Unlike part of the control, I guess would be the thing. Okay. Okay, uh Bothia says something about she won't be taking orders from us anytime soon. <laughs> Wrong! Another major change in the uh, international version. Previously in uh, Final Fantasy XII, we had actually no control of our guest members, right? Well, check this out. Woohoo! All right. You can control guest members in the international version. Pretty cool, huh? Not only that, but uh, you can um, you can also change the gamuts. Not bad, huh? This comes with a price, however. Uh, you no, know, uh, people like on Lassa. Lassa had uh, infinite high posters in the previous version. This time, when you run out high potions, he ran out high potions, and so on and so forth, but... In any case, for the most part, we can control guest members this time around, alright? We have complete control over them, okay? Alright, so, we have uh, Amalia, temporarily. Alright. Alright, time for a pervert moment. Um, a lot of people say Fran's the hottest girl in this game, but... Uh, I vote Ash, sorry. Uh, I, I truly think Ash is the hottest girl in this game, alright? For obvious reasons, okay. 
All right, let's move on. Enough, enough being a perfect for this episode. Okay, now we have a somewhat boss fight coming up here, but uh, fortunately, Fran has fire. Uh, I don't think Ash can use it now, unfortunately. No, of course you can't use it because I haven't, you know, made a. No, okay. Uh, not really a hard fight if, if you got the fire spell, so we'll be out of mess really quickly. I love this music. Uh, physical attacks are practically useless, so you need some kind of magic spell to, hit, to beat these guys. I mean, you, you, you can beat them eventually, but throwing fire, casting fire on them will kill them instantly, really. Give me. Right? I just said that was a somewhat hard fight, but if, if you got fire, which you, which you should, because Fred starts with fire, then you'll be out of miss quickly. Yeah, that's so disgusting. Flares were very annoying in uh, Final Fantasy 13 because they had arms that they just slept the entire party with. Especially the die flan in the uh, Grand Post. Congratulations, you defeated your first boss. All right, let's move on. Let's see here. Back to Amalia. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. I got the super speed. <laughs> Finish down over there. Let's see what we got over here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. A little more fighting to do before we get out of here. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Let me uh, change, uh, get rid of this uh, thing here. So, all right. Uh, let's see here. I notice uh, uh, Ash is, uh, has a permanent Libra on right here. I guess. Uh, does she come equipped with the the bagel or something like that when she joins the second time or something like that? I don't know. 56 gill? Wow. Okay. What you got here? Oh, yeah, you. Die! I mean, Ash, Ash is really cool. I just I just love watching this girl. Not just because, not just because she looks good, but, <laughs> I mean, I just love... Watching her fight, I mean, the, the, the way she's the way she swings her sword, it's just, it's just really cool. Look at that, she just she's such a badass in battle. And I'm sorry, I just, I, I just love this girl. Of course, not better than Rika and Vanille. Rika and Vanille are, are the top two. I don't have a third favorite yet. I'm still uh, debating on that one. There's so many of them. <laughs> You know what, let me just speed this up. I, I am sorry. Th this is the international version, so I am going to be doing most of this at super speed so I can get through this as quick as possible. I told you I have not played the English version ever since I bought this uh, international version, and I am just not used to the, um, not used to the, um, the slow speed anymore. And I'm just not realizing that I am recording this in low quality, so let me change that. All right, hold on for a second. All right, and we're back. Did the quality change? It should have. All right, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Now, oh, oops, excuse me, sorry for the belts there in the middle of my commentary. Uh, notice that that, that frog that was asleep. Uh, if you attack a foe who's uh, sleeping, it'll do more damage than it normally would. Uh, attacking a sleeping foe with a physical attack wakes them up instantly, of course, but for some reason, if you attack them with magic while they're sleeping, it will not wake them up. I do not know why that is, but I do not care. I mean, it doesn't make any sense for me to, to burn somebody with fire and, and they don't wake up from it. 
or or pour a bunch of water on them and they still don't wake up for it. That doesn't make sense, but oh well, okay. Uh Ghost uh and floating demons. Yeah, none of the none of the monsters at this point in the game are hard, but once you start doing the super side quests like the um like that sucker ship in uh, Nabadis, those goblins and um the great crystal, that place is kinda difficult. And of course the hand mines. Once you do once you start doing those those uh, levels you are gonna realize that, you know, th this game can be pretty hard at low levels, but you know, for the most part it's it's not really a hard game, but there are a few monsters in this game that'll wipe you out if you you know, if you're not ready for them, so uh am I even going the right way? Uh, I don't think there's any really, really important treasures here. If there are, then please uh, post in the comments if I missed them. And I'm going. To, okay. Anyways, anyways, I'm saying if I missed any really important treasures, uh, just, just let me know. But you know, I'm not gonna worry about them right now. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a very, very important side quest later on in the game. It leads to an Easter. A very, very tough Easter, by the way. You you fight them uh, down there. That big green blob easter that drains your hit points throughout the entire battle that's that's one of the hardest fights in the game actually you're gonna need a lot of hit points to beat that fight so and he also inverts you and stuff like that so that's very annoying and uh save the game and by the way uh when ash uh, joins um for the second time permanently uh, she will be the leader for the rest of the game Unless I have to switch out for whatever reason, but for the most part, she's going to be the leader for the rest of the game because, you know, she is my favorite character in this game. Well, actually, she's tied with Pinello, but, you know, I'd rather control Ash because Ash is a better leader than Pinello is in terms of combat, but, you know. All right, uh, let's see. We have another boss fight here. This one's a lot harder than the last one. A horse that's on the fire, so naturally he's gonna be doing a lot of fire base attacks to you, alright? Uh, too bad you don't have any way to guard against it at this point in the game, you know. So. But he's not that hard. All you gotta do is just attack him, up, keep your hit points up, and uh, I think he has a. Ah, sh The first monster that paused the game doing a doing a super attack. Okay, uh, that thing causes poison. Also, as you can see. Ah, oh, damn it! Gimme, gimme! Thank you, Phoenix. Down. I thought he had some other stuff, but oh well. Uh, where'd you go? Okay. Yeah, all you have to do is just just attack him while keeping up your health, and you'll be out of this mess quickly. Remember that that cure heals the entire party uh, this time around. So you're gonna be using this a lot until you uh, you know get like the the better ones. Here it comes again. That's all it did. Seventy-two damage. Okay. As you've seen, I, I, I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even. Woohoo! Boy, Ashley is so cool when she's doing a combo, man. I told you, I love watching, watching this chick attack, man. She She's so sexy when she's fighting, man. I love watching Ash fight. I just love it. Woohoo! And she did the finishing blow. I love watching that girl fight, man. She rocks in battle. She really does. As I was saying, uh, I, saw, I wasn't even, you know, thinking about the poison. I, I didn't even give a damn about the poison, so ain't no point of wasting anything to, to hear that. Just... Just attack him and keep up your, up your health. <clears throat> I got tongue tied again. Attack him while I keep up your health and you'll be fine. And I got a cutscene, so let me shut up. A pretty long cutscene, in fact. 
And the old bastard himself, Lord Vane. Not the time. They think me some common thief. Better than a common assassin. These people have done nothing. Release them. What are you doing? Don't interrupt me. I'm thinking. Sorry. That dinner will have to wait. I told you. That's enough! <sighs> Leave him alone! Hold on to this for me, would you? Just until I bring Vaughn back. All right, all right. Pidgey, aren't we? It's Paul Fear, my brother. What does that Philander think he's doing? I was to kill Paul Fear, not those other faded Imperials. Okay, what exactly does that guy have against Balthier? Uh, apparently, he really wants to kill Balthier for for a bounty or something. I don't know, but that guy really wants to kill Balthier. I just have no idea why. They they never actually... Apparently, uh, there's a price on Balthier's head. Apparently, they, there's someone else who wants Balthier dead, but oh well. I brought you some of those flowers you like. Galbana lilies. Remember? You always said how they smelled nice and how pretty they were. Remember? The king. Did you? W were you really a part of it? Even if... Even if you were... Captain Bosch must have tricked you into it. Come on now, let's go, come on, come on. Even though the game plays uh, perfectly well, sometimes it takes a while for it to load it, but once it loads, it plays perfectly fine. Talk about the, um, you no, know, the copy version. So, okay. Alright, uh, where are we now? Uh, hmm. You're awake. Where are we? Prison. Where else? <laughs> More a dungeon, but it's really all the same. It's just a corpse. Jump at every little thing down here and you'll wear yourself out. I didn't see the lack subtitle down there. They just sealed off the bottom level of the fortress. Doesn't matter. Take a look around. We're not the first they've thrown down here. Where's Fran? She's off trying to find us a way out. Uh. 
Remember what curiosity killed? Just a friendly word of advice. This is all the water we've got. I'd save your strength if I were you. Okay, what kind of dungeon is this? I, I could swear I, I just saw opening up. I I'd never noticed that before. I could look at that. There's like an opening up there. Can we like get out of there if we climb up there or something? Away? What kind of dungeon is this? Anyway, uh, let's see. All these should be a what the hell? One gear? I thought that was a knot of rust or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. Uh, all all of your equipment has been uh, taken here. So uh, of course I don't have the diamond armor because I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, you be completely stripped of your weapons and the inventory, unfortunately. There's a few chests of chests around here that'll give you some not a rush. You want to get these? There's one. Now, those of you who are new to the game, uh, not a rush may seem like a useless item at first, but it's actually very, very useful. I'll show you why later on the game. For those of you who are new, the vendors know why it's useful already, of course, so I don't need to explain it to you. But you want to try to use these things as much as possible, alright? Because there is a certain fight in this version, anyway, where I am going to use it. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try to get a Dark Matter, too. Okay. Uh, how many did I get, by the way? I got uh, three of them. That should be enough. Uh, matter of fact, my levels are straight. I, I should be all right. And I forgot about the license board here. Let me uh, level up a little bit. Uh, normally, when doing these, uh, you want to um, focus on these first, then worry about your accessories and, and your weapons later. But you always want to go for these uh, bonuses first. Let's see, I can't get that one. Three increased food damage. I get this one. Alright, just one point. That was it. Okay. Make sure you use this save, Crystal, because, you know, you never know when something unfortunate might happen. So. Alright, let's continue. I'm going to be ending this episode really soon. It should be closer to 30 minutes by now, if not more than 30 minutes, thanks to the cutscenes. I told you this is going to be a very long LP because I have to show every cutscene in the game, unfortunately. But it's a good thing that I can upload movies past 10 minutes. I think I'm one of the few LPs who can do that. So. <sighs> They're all dying of suffocation and starvation. Oh, hey, where did this guy come from? He was defenseless. What did he say? You dirty bastards! That was just that was just dirty. Last time we saw blood in the Final Fantasy game. Something stinks in here, all right. I've changed my mind. This is no dungeon, it's a sty. It's a sty, okay. I Okay, apparently that is a real word because I, someone posted that uh, it's, it's a place uh, where you keep pigs or something. But I saw that word in a Final Fantasy Four. I didn't even know that was a real word until until recently. But yeah, okay. I are smart. 
I said you're the one that stinks, Hamshanks. Hear me now? <sighs> You all right, Van? This is just a test to see how well you do without your weapons and so on and so forth, but uh, it's okay because these guys are not tough at all. You kill him, fucking steal from him, man. Come on. Give me. Give me. Yoink. Uh, five gil. That's all you got, man. Gimme! Potion, thank you. I'll take that. Bye! Didn't even have to use my knot of rust. If you're under level, that is gonna be a tough fight, so watch out. Cause you most likely won't have a way to heal yourself. Oh, they're stealing potions from them, but they'll be beating your ass in the process. Isn't that the same uh, bloke that Vaughn stole those uh, that money from? Great. They just don't give up, do they? <sighs> now is looking like a good time for us to leave. Through the oubliette, there's a way out. Only. Only you sense the mist. Then we need weapons. What did you call me? Say that again. What? You couldn't hear? I merely said that a lot of you are incompetent fools. If you've escaped it in your hands, where is he? You'd have done better, Bagamnon. By your own words, it was the Imperial Army who caught this Sky Pirate of yours. We'd done your job for you. We don't require the assistance of filthy head others. The Empire will restore order here. Eh? What's that you say now? Maybe I'll wet my blade on you before I kill the fear. That's enough, Bagamnon. <sighs> All right, here comes one of my favorite characters in the game. I like other people besides females. I'm not a homosexual, but I do like some male characters too. Okay, here comes one of my favorite characters in the game. Judge Gabrath. All the judges are cool. Judge. Judge. Hmm. The self-proclaimed guardians of law and order in Arcadia. They're the elite guard of House Solidor, which effectively makes them the commanders of the Imperial Army. If you ask me, they're more executioners than judges. Not a friendly lot, at any rate. What are they doing here? Trust me, before the international version is done with you, you will hate the judges. I love them, but before before this game is done with you, you will hate the judges, okay? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. That shit's hard. <laughs> the Emperor is willing to overlook race for his more talented servants. However, those that do not show respect will receive none in kind. Your Honor. You travel freely through our lands because the Emperor wills it. Am I correct? <sighs> Where is the Captain? We have him in solitary, Your Honor. We're ready to begin our interrogation. <sighs> this does not concern you, Bounty Hunter. Yeah, that was that was the same guy that Von started. Somewhere. Find them. Watch it. Yeah, that was the same guy that Vaughn stole that money from. See, I'm noticing things I didn't notice before because I'm actually paying attention, but... 
I still don't understand the damn plot. The magic's binding the door to the Obliatra quite strong. Too strong even for my talents. That's why we'll get them to open it for us. How is going deeper into this What's place? What's wrong? You don't trust her. Fiera's nose is a sharp. If she says there's a way out, there's a way out. And we gain control again. Let's see. Uh, I'll do that on the next episode because I'm giving in this thing. Uh, Cutscene. Cutscene here. Ah. Look. Ah, the prison repository of rested relics and raiments. So our things are in here. That's what I said. That's what the man said. You get all of your equipment back. But we could have taken it, but this is equipment too, you know, but oh well. English players! You've guessed it! English players! See this loot right here? See these treasures? Leave it alone! Don't get it! If you get it, you will miss a Zodiac Spear in the ship! Don't get it! You have to use the RNG method to get it in the hand mines. You're probably going to do it anyway, but don't get this treasure, English players! But once again, I can! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, we're gonna end this episode. Alright, stay tuned for the next one.